What is going on everyone? Welcome back to yet another video and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Xbox Series S and why you should pick one up. So sit tight, relax and let's uh, talk a bit more. So this isn't really like my previous videos where I do an unboxing video of a product. This is more of a discussion video and I thought Maybe I should be doing a little bit more of these. Um, and the reason for this is because I do all these unboxing videos. I talk a lot inside of those unboxing videos, but I never really express anything about those products that I am actually unboxing. Now, I do show my excitement and that's about it. <laughs> I don't have any criticisms or anything negative to say about them. And this is what this discussion video is all about. And I want you guys to participate by letting me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts off this video and you know how how can you be involved in these uh, in these videos. So recently, I don't know if you guys saw, I did an unboxing video for an Xbox Series S. Um, I got that from the game store in the UK, and the way I got it for ninety pounds or by default it's the ninety nine pound um, price mark is by trading in your previous ne uh, previous past gen console. Now I had an Xbox One S and I don't really use it that often. So I thought, let me just trade that in and get Xbox Series S instead. So I'm up to date with all of the um, next generation consoles. I've got a PS5 now, I've got an Xbox Series S and I've also got a Nintendo Switch. Now, this video isn't going to be a comparison video um, between the Xbox Series S and the P pardon me and the PlayStation 5. Um, this is more about my experience with the Xbox Series S. Now if you do want me to do a comparison video let me know in the comment section down below but we all know who's going to be the winner when it comes to the Xbox Series S and the PlayStation 5. Um, it's generally because they are different graded consoles I would say you'd have to go against the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. But we're not gonna go through that because I know there's some people quite sensitive when it comes to that. But let's talk more about the Xbox Series S because this is such a good console. And I'm not saying it because, you know, I'm trying to, you know, bring bring some sort of um, um, happiness to both consoles, but it is the truth. The Xbox Series S is actually a really great console, especially for the price. I mean, I would be more than happy to actually pay £250 for this console. And the reason for that is because it packs a lot. Now, if you had the previous Xbox One S, um, really good console, but it was still underwhelming in most parts. I mean, like, you could get a 1080p picture from that console, but by default, usually it's around the 900p mark. It's not the best when it comes to a 4K TV, probably a 1080p TV. But it was a decent console, um, but there was room for improvements. And I think this is where Microsoft kind of went in with the Xbox Series S. Now, it does pack basically everything that you'd expect from a next-gen Xbox console. Um, it's the same situation for the Xbox Series, uh, uh, Xbox Series X as well, where you're going to have quick resume. You're going to have titles which are optimized for that console. So you can have optimization for the X and the S. You're never going to get the optimization just for the X. You're also going to get it for the S as well. Um, you're going to get um, frame rate boosts as well, which is pretty nice. Um, it's not on all titles, but they are expanding the amount of titles that you can get with um, frame rate boost. Um, and then you're going to get that SSD power as well. So loading times are going to be faster. Um, you're going to be able to, you know, support those games that take advantage of the SSDs as well. Now there aren't at, there, there's not really much at the moment on the Xbox besides the medium, I think. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the medium is actually really, really good on the Xbox. Like the way that it has two gameplays running at the same time is actually really, really nice. Um, but there are going to be more games in the future for the Xbox um, that, that's going to be taking advantage of the uh, SSD power. So stuff like that really does make gaming a big deal for anyone that, that is playing games right now because we've all been waiting for like SSD power, speed and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to get this with the console. And that's why I say that this is a great console for the price that it is. Whether it's £250 or if you do that deal at game where you get it for £90. It's such a great price because you're getting all those features 
for half the price as what the Xbox Series X is. Now, when it comes to performance, this is where it does lack a little bit, um, but there's not much to complain, especially because of the price. Now, essentially, the main difference <laughs> between the Xbox Series X and the S is the fact that you're gonna get full on 4K gameplay and improved textures and, and lighting and all that kind of good stuff with the Xbox Series X. Just bear that in mind, all right? With the Xbox Series S, you're gonna get improved lighting, you're gonna get improved textures, but they're gonna be most likely running at a either 1080p resolution or 1440p resolution, depending on the display that you are playing on. Because I know with um, some TVs, they don't actually support 1440p, it's either 1080p or 4K. Same with monitors as well, it's either 1080p or 4K, but there are some monitors and TVs that actually support 1440p. So uh, I'm not gonna say that it's not gonna, it, it can't support it, but I'm just saying that there are some TVs that don't support that. All right, so just getting that through. Um, but it, that's the main differences between the Xbox Series X and the S is that you're gonna get 4K on one and roughly around 1080p or 4040p um, on the other. My experience with the Xbox Series S, pretty good. Um, and now obviously I'm jumping from a PlayStation 5 directly to a Series S. So I'm not gonna expect, you know, big 4K images from the Xbox Series S. But for what it is, great price, great quality. I think it's great. Um, again, I was playing the medium. Um, that was like literally the main game that I was mostly playing just because that was deliberately made for X and S. Um, again, looks really good to me. So I don't know what resolution it is running at, but it looks pretty clean if you ask me. I mean, and I'm playing on a 50 inch 4K TV. It looks pretty good. And the HDR is great as well. Performance is great. I didn't really see any frame drops or anything. It's running really, really smooth, um, but works really, really well. Um, I was also playing some, um... wow, I forgot the name, but you know the dodgeball game. <laughs> oh gosh, how can I forget the name? But a dodgeball game <laughs> that recently came out. Again, looks and plays phenomenally on the Series S. I don't know what resolution it's running at, or like I'm, I know it's running at 60 frames, but I do, it, it says that it's been optimized for the Xbox Series S and the X. Um, and I can definitely see that because I loaded it up on PlayStation 5 as well. Barely a difference. Barely a difference, and I'm not even lying to you. Um, I'm pretty much sure the uh, the PS5 one's running at 4K, and the Xbox Series S one is running at 1440p. But you literally do not see a difference, honestly. Like because that game is so fast paced. Um, Knockout C, that's the name. Oh my gosh, Ugh. <laughs> Knockout C. But anyways, um, because the game is so fast paced, you're really not going to pay attention to the resolution. Uh, honestly, like it looks really, really good, and that's free on Game Pass at the moment. So um, that's 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 a winner for me. Um, but yeah, performance. Again, you get what you pay for. Don't expect a 4K resolution console. You're gonna get about 1080p, 1440p at 60 frames. And I think for a lot of gamers, 60 frames is the most important part. Just generally because you know you know, you want your game to run smooth as possible, right? Like for a lot of people, they're playing on monitors. So having a 4K image doesn't really matter to them really. It's, uh, unless if you have a 4K monitor, but again, a lot of people don't really have a 4K monitor right now, unless you wanna, you know, spend a ton of money. Um, a lot of people either have 1080p display, which runs at like, you know, 120 frames or even more. Or you have a 1440p display as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, but yeah, that is it for performance. Um, I think in terms of service, we all know that, you know, Microsoft kind of, uh, <laughs> they kind of smash it out of the bag when it comes to that, because you have Game Pass Ultimate. Honestly, guys, if you have an Xbox, do not miss on Game Pass Ultimate. It would be the biggest mistake if you don't have Game Pass. And the reason why I say this is because that is the bone, that is the spine and bone of the Xbox right now. All right, you can get games singleized. It's like you, you know, you can just you know physically buy a game if you want to, or you can go into the digital store and buy a game if you want to. 
stuff like let's say Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's not going to be on Game Pass and I don't think it's ever going to be on Game Pass so you know stuff like that it's you know you buy but for any other game honestly Game Pass Ultimate is the one you have everything on there and it expands so quickly as well and they don't remove titles so quickly neither so you have quite a bit of time to actually play those games and experience it but there's so much on there and it's not a bad price neither it's 10.99 a month bargain <laughs> bargain right there um but honestly there's so much on there um you're gonna get all the xbox fast uh, xbox xbox first party games on xbox game pass day one they recently had their E3 um, conference and they've got tons coming. Um, even one of those games that was on Nintendo Switch called Hades, that's coming to Xbox Game Pass as well. Really, really good stuff. And because Microsoft has partnered up with Bethesda as well, you know, partner up, they've bought Bethesda. <laughs> All of their first party games are going to be on Game Pass as well, day one. So you're getting a lot of games for $10.99 a month. Now, I'm not trying to sell it to you, but I'm informing to you that if you have an Xbox, just get Game Pass because it's going to be worth your money. There's no point spending 50 quid on every single game that you want when they're on Game Pass. Simple as that. Unfortunately, we've moved more into a digital world um, and a more cloud-based world. But, you know, that's what Microsoft's goal are. Um, and, you know, if it works, it works. I mean, especially for us as well. If it's saving us money, then, you know, it's, it's, it's a benefit for us either way. Um, for me, I'm more of a collector. So I do, you know, buy my games physically, um, specifically on the PlayStation 5. I don't really like, buy the games that I really, really want digitally. Unless if it's like a stupid price, then I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's a no brainer. Right? I'm going to get it on PlayStation 5 digital. But. Game Pass Ultimate, honestly, no brainer, no brainer. All right, um, but overall experience, the Xbox Series S has been a really, really good, uh, really, really great console to play on. Um, I think the control is pretty good as well. Like, I know a lot of people prefer the shape of the Xbox um, controller over the PlayStation uh, controllers, um, which is fair to say because it kind of just melts in your hand. But honestly, if you haven't tried DualSense already, definitely try that out. Um, again, I'm not trying to, you know, defy, divide the war or anything, but I think a lot of people judge the consoles, uh, the, the, the controllers, just because, you know, they like that console. Um, but I've, I've got both. I've played with both. In all honesty, I think the D4 Xbox controller feels pretty cheap. It's, I don't know if you can hear it in the mic, it's a, it's a pretty cheap material. Um, and the analog sticks are again pretty cheap. I don't know. Yeah, you can I'm pretty much you can hear it It's a pretty cheap material um, But the shape of it the mold of it. It feels great um, As you can see the keys are pretty clicky as well. So there's no you know I think I think the reason why they've made it like this is because there are gonna be PC players that's gonna be using this and for PC players they like clicky keys so to have all this type of stuff it's 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 good for them so it's kind of uh, making it for both audiences, Xbox and PC. So fair enough to them. But again, 50 quid for this and, you know, 50 quid for a dual sense. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more from there. But um, again, you get what you pay for. <clears throat> and again, it's a great controller. I, I don't really have anything else to say from that. Um, only issue... Come on, guys. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Get rid of those AA batteries and forget about those stupid rechargeable packs. Just make a controller with rechargeable batteries built inside of them, man. Like you've done it with the uh, with the Xbox Elite 2 controller. Great, um, um, great controller. Again, that is the type of controller that I expect from when I actually buy a next-gen console. I want quality. Um, I don't want to have a quality console with a cheap remote. You know what I'm saying? This needs to be as quality as what the console is. Um, and that's the same case for the Xbox Series X as well. That console is what? 450 pounds and you're still gonna get the same remote? Come on guys. What is that? <laughs> and you still have to get batteries for it as well. It, it's a little ridiculous to be honest, but um, yeah, man, uh, control is pretty good. Um, could be better, 
it is what it is. Um, but let's wrap this video up because I think I'm moving a little bit too mad right now. But overall, the Xbox Series S is definitely a go-to console. Um, especially if you aren't really looking to spend so much money on a console. It's such a great experience for what you get, especially for that price. And I think it's the price that really does make up for it. Um, it's definitely a console that if you are looking for a lot of third party titles, this might be the best console to go for because you're going to get them on Game Pass. But if you're looking for exclusive consoles with a lot of quality, then that's where the PlayStation kind of shines. Um, but I see the Xbox Series S as a digital console, as a subscription console. You don't buy the console by itself and not have a subscription. And I think that's why they um, decided to go for that subscription route because it's going to bring more audiences to the console and you're going to get more for your money as well. The more subscriptions, the more money they bring in. Um, the, more expensive con uh, the more expensive games are, the less customers you're going to get. So it makes sense in a way. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, really, I really do like my Xbox Series S. It's definitely my uh, go-to side console, if you ask me that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say to us. I mean, I've talked about it too much. I think it's for you guys to decide if you are interested in the Xbox Series S. But it's my duty to let you guys know my experience of the Xbox Series S. And I... Uh, ooh. And I, I thought, you know... Definitely go for it, especially if you are interested in the UK. Definitely trade in your um, your your old console to get one of these. Um, nothing more to say. But what do you think about my video today, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below because I am more interested in doing some discussion videos because it's nice to talk about it, you know. And I, it's nice to actually broadcast it to the world as well. Let them know about these consoles because I think with the Xbox Series S. Microsoft didn't really do a good job when it comes to marketing the Xbox Series S. Great job with marketing the Series X, but not so with the Series S. And I think that's why a lot of people are quite hungry for the Series X because they don't know too much about the Series S. Um, but again, you know, as a content creator, it's my duty to kind of broadcast this out to the world. And I hope this video really, really did help you with um, deciding if you wanted to get a Series S over X or just getting a Series S, or if you have a PlayStation and, you, and you're interested in an Xbox experience to go for the Series S, it's not gonna break the bank. Um, and it's gonna give you a great experience of what Xbox is all about. We've given you the next gen games as well, so nothing more to say. But guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video. Should I do some more discussion videos? let me know in the comment section down below and if you do like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and also hit that bell button so you will be notified for when i upload my next videos but for this video take it easy guys i will see you when i see you take it easy and peace